Kimberlyn, uh, do you feel that Republican voters, you're out there on the campaign trail every day, right. working to win in 36 California, do you feel energy among Republican voters? I actually, I, I feel a lot of energy, and that gas tax initiative is important, and John Cox is absolutely right. It's, it's a tax that, that Californians do not want to keep in place, and and the the rhetoric that they're they're spewing in argument for it is the amount of money that it's going to cost certain cities if they don't keep this tax in place. But what about the money, the millions and millions of dollars that those taxpayers have already paid, Graham? This is this is ridiculous. I can tell you that Republicans are energized. I'm seeing it, and there's a recent poll that came out that that actually has John Cox down to five points. Mm. Yes. Well, we'll see. Um, the district uh, that you're in has now been declared, I believe, on the national level by the uh, National Republican Party as competitive and moved into that column rather recently. So congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, what about the president's Twitter feed? Uh, have <laughs> we seen any activity there? Have you reached out to the White House? Have they reached out to you? You know what? I, I, I got into this race knowing that, that I was going to have to go at this alone and count on no one. As a business owner, that's, that's the way I've always operated. I will tell you that, uh, that Eric Trump has, uh, nice. has said a couple of nice things. I actually met him at a lunch here recently. And uh, I, I'd, I'd love to have the, the president jump on board. Are you kidding me? Our, our numbers, our polling, it's positive. And the uh, the head of the polling company, the vice president, actually, he actually said that that my seat with the 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 makeup that it has could be the number one turnover opportunity in the country. Well, that, and let's talk about that. And the recent history of the district uh, has been largely uh, Democrat, right? I mean, there's been a since I, I think the last time that you, your district that you're uh, trying to win uh, went Republican was when Bill Clinton was in the White House. Where are the swing votes? Are these the people? who uh, you want to connect with, who do want to repeal the gas tax, who want to bring some constitutional sanity back to California? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and I've got to tell you that, that our district actually was, was very Republican. It was held by Sonny Bono and Mary Bono. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until Raul Ruiz won this seat that our, our district started turning more Democrat. The, the Cook Index has it at a D plus two. Mm -hmm. The recent polling that we just did has it narrower than that, more like a D plus one. I'm definitely going after that independent voter and the soft Dem um, because those are people that are definitely coming on board. And when they hear me speak, it's about common sense decisions. It's not about decisions based off of emotion, which is where we seem to be right now. And let's talk about Raul Ruiz, okay. your, your opponent. Uh, he is a constitutional loser. His liberty score is a straight F, 9%. You can't get much lower. You show up for work and you get like a 2 or 3%. He's at a 9%. And what stands out to me on immigration, he's got a 10% rating, which basically means he's an open border. Even though he's on the record coming out recently, I've, I heard saying that he supports ICE, doesn't want to abolish ICE. He's, uh, he's an open borders kind of guy, isn't he? He voted present. He voted present. You know what? To me, you need a strong person that's actually going to vote yes or no for the people that elected him to go to Washington and speak for us. Voting for voting present means you're not doing your job. It means that he was afraid to say what he really felt in an election year. But right. that's Raul Ruiz. He also has a zero rating in the National Federation of Independent Businesses. You're a small business owner. Just in case, I have to mention this if, if, if you look familiar to folks. You were on television, yes. and soap operas, uh, many, many years ago. Not so many years ago, a few <laughs> years ago. Yeah. Bold and the Beautiful, right? Up until five months ago. I actually walked away so that I could oh, campaign right. full time. So it was I many actually, months ago. <laughs> yeah, months ago. I, I actually received the official endorsement from the NFIB as well. All right. And if, if folks want to help you in your current endeavor, that's winning in District yes. 36 in California, how can they help? You know, go to KimberlinForCongress.com. At the polls show, if we get the messaging out, we take this seat back. And you can help me do that. So go to KimberlinForCongress.com. Help me any way you can. And I appreciate your support. And the president watches this program once in a while. Who knows, maybe he'll, he'll tweet something to help out as well. well Kimberly, I would love that. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.